So, horror movies. Okay, I just recently saw Imaginary, and it was about as I expected. Not not great. Uh, honestly, I did have a tiny bit of fun watching it just because of some of the goofiness to it. It was kind of fun bad, but it, it was bad indeed. Most horror movies tend to follow the same line of just incredibly unrelatable characters that make stupid decision after stupid decision if they get to make another stupid decision because the first one can probably get them killed. I mean, my goodness, in this movie alone, one of the classic tropes happened where you very clearly saw some shenanigans going on underneath your bed. So what's the thing that you do? Obviously, you take a look. You know something's going on. You know there's something underneath that bed that's a big no-no, and yet you're taking a look at it anyway. What? I can't. I cannot handle it, okay? And heck, I think today, I'm just going to do this in one take. You're going to see the real and true Bounty because, well, for one, I'm kind of short on time. But also, I just need to get this out here. I I'm coming off a of sickness, okay? I, I, was I was ill. I felt like dying over the last few days, and now I'm starting to feel better. I'm pumped. I'm filled with energy, and I'm ready to talk about this, okay? I wish in horror movies, and it has happened every once in a while, but it doesn't happen super often. I wish in horror movies, you'd have situations where it's just like, okay, you've got the, the nun. Let's take the nun, for example. The nun sucked in its own, right? But say say they roll up and they're just like, oh, goodness, Go goodness golly me. It's the nun. This 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 possession. How are we going to stop the nun? And you've just got one person in the crowd that's just like, oh, that's the nun? Here's the nine. And then just unloads bullets into the nun. And then it's, over the top things can happen, okay? I'm saying this doesn't have to be realistic. These are unrealistic movies to begin with. I want to see some goofiness happen, all right? I want some more self-awareness in the story. I want it to be a situation where it could be so over the top that they're just like, oh, those bullets didn't work. The nun's a demon. You have to use silver. And the person's just like, oh, crap. Of course, you're right. And then they open up their mouth and they yank out like a grill that they just randomly have. And they could even go to like some backstory or something like that, some full-on flashback where they're just outright saying, oh, yeah, this is the origin story of how how he got the grill and sure i'd be all for that he pops it out just puts it onto a bullet loads in the chamber pff, right right in between the nun's eyes boom problem done the movie's over it's all handled i would find that more relatable than someone seeing a monster clearly going under the bed and they're just like well you know i'm on top of the bed it's under the bed i think i might as well go ahead and Take a little peeky weeky and see what's going on right there. It's dumb. It's silly. If we're gonna if we're gonna have dumb silly things happen, they need to be intentionally dumb and silly. Okay, enough enough with this era of them trying to be overly serious with these horror movies and just have people that are like little pawns made up to die and stuff like that. And you've got these insurmountable enemies that are just too powerful to defeat for whatever me reason. You can you can maybe slow them down a little bit, okay? But you can't stop them. They're just some unstoppable force. They're only a slightly slowable force. I'm tired of it, all right? I want to see someone produce a gun. Just, like, pull out a gun because no one's ever armed in these things either. They just straight up pull out a gun and they're just like, all right, you know what? We're in America, okay? Like, I, even one gun. One gun doesn't have to be alone it, it, guns have friends okay guns have friends let's get two three three guns something like that let's let's have a horror movie take place in texas and like have it have it be realistic texas okay like some demonic possession or something happened or some some house is moved into okay it's it's a family I'm setting the scene here family moves in they've had a rough time you know uh, like a main character's mom recently died or something like that. And they move into this house in another town in order to get some change, okay? But it turns out the house is possessed. Things start getting wonky, and then the demon outright presents itself, and everyone in the family just pulls out guns. Every one of them. Even, like, they, they've got, like, a four-year-old child. The four-year-old even pulls out the gun, okay? Like, the, like the, the demon's starting out trying to, like, talk to the toddler and be like, oh, you need to go and off your parents or whatever. Ooh, whatever. And she's just like, nah, I don't want to do that. And he's just like, do it. And he's 
she's like trying to scare her. And like in response, she just pulls out a gat. She pulls out a nine. She pulls out a revolver, just a straight up revolver. And she's just like, I don't take kindly to that round of these parts there, Sonny. And then she just, just six shoots directly into the demon. And then things just get unhinged from there. Why can't we have that? Okay. And we've had self-aware horror movies. We've had Ash versus the Evil Dead, where, you know, Ash takes justice into his own hands. Well, it his version of hands. But we, we've also had things like, what is it, Cabin in the Woods? That 2011 movie that had Chris Hemsworth in it for a little bit. Who's like, a gen- he's like built to be that generic character that dies a senseless death. And then ultimately, they don't really like fall for these silly tropes as easily it's a very self-aware thing it's a very self-aware thing i would love to see more self-aware things okay that's what i really want in these stories i would love a horror movie with some relatable characters and you know some over-the-top goofiness because there are good horror movies out there they're they're not all bad and frankly it's not that big of a deal that there are as many bad ones i just wish that alongside all these bad ones, there'd be some interesting ones. Some very interesting ones that go against the grain in the goofiest ways possible. I would love it. What would you guys think? Do you agree? Do you think that things like that would be entertaining? What's the wildest, like, horror story, fork in the road thing that you think could happen? Like, like it's just built up the entire time And you think, oh man, this is going to be a generic horror movie. And then out of nowhere, something goes absolutely off the rails and it's just not even a horror movie anymore. Like, what is it? Oh no, I don't, I don't remember the name of the movie. Okay. This is going to kill me. I swear. If this gets more than 10 views, someone is going to be really killing me in the comments, but it is that movie. Is it until dawn, dust till dawn, something like that. It's the one where there's. Two people, and what did they do? I don't even remember what they did. I think one of them was Quentin Tarantino, though. I'm almost positive one of them is Quentin Tarantino. And they're like assassins or hitmen or mercenary. I don't know. But they end up at a bar, and everything just seems like a normal movie. Like, it's one type of movie. Then they end up at a bar about halfway through it. And suddenly it's a bunch of like undead creatures, vampires, things like that. Bumps in the night that are just in the bar and they just make themselves known out of nowhere. And then the genre of it 100% shifts. It is a completely different movie halfway through it for the rest of the movie. And it's, it's incredible. The concept of it is really great. I'd love to see more of that too. Where it starts out, you think this is going to be like a generic horror movie. And then it just, it goes off the absolute deep end. Completely changes genres. That would be great. Like, heck, let's have like a, like a demonic possessions happening in the house or something like that. And it opens up a portal to hell and the family gets so fed up with it. They're just like, dude, you are, you're really interrupting my night. Okay. I just wanted to sit there with my TV dinner. All right. And watch a little bit of cable TV. And now, now you've irked me. So now I'm going into hell myself and I'm taking you all down. And they, the family just goes straight into hell and just kills everything. That would be great. They, they're they the ones that are striking fear into the creatures of hell rather than vice versa. I think it would be amazing. You guys let me know what you think, though. I've been ranting for nine minutes straight. I think that that's good. It's time for me to clock into work. So yay. Yay. I'm glad I have energy again. I always have energy to complain about horror movies, though. They're some, oh my gosh. So many of them are just so awful. And I wish I could be like Charlie White, you know, Penguin Zero, and just enjoy everything that's bad for what it is. And in a lot of cases, I can. Every once in a while, though, I just, I get dragged into it and I'm like, oh my gosh. This was awful. This is so bad. But hey, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, here, here there, there's a video. Maybe go watch that. Thanks.